Tonight, we want to introduce you to a young man from PA who is breaking records in the world of martial arts, and he's traveling the globe to do it. In fact, 10-year-old Joshua Aguirre just returned home from Costa Rica. He invited us to his home in Lebanon, where we got to check out his hardware and hear his story. Here is Costa Rica 2022. Yeah, these now? are brand new ones. Yeah, these are my brand new ones. These are beautiful. Thank you. Nearly 200 medals hang on the attic walls of Joshua Aguirre's home in Lebanon. These accomplishments could take one decades to achieve. But considering Josh is only 10 years old, he's collected them pretty quickly. Master David Gladwell started teaching a then four-year-old Joshua martial arts and noticed his talent immediately. He skipped from the pre-K, which is the Pee Wee Karate program, all the way into the Taekwondo program, which would be like in uh, our educational system going from like pre-K to sixth grade. Where did you get all these flags? Me and my mom, we buy these and we put them all through the ceiling because these are the most three important ones. That's United States, Colombia, and Cuba. Because my mom is Colombian and my dad is Cuban. Wow. So a mix of that and United States, that equals me. <laughs> his mother always had a passion for dance. His father, music and singing. But Joshua's calling. Okay, it's time to put something to watch. Let me see. Turn that on. Well, I was four and a half years old when I started watching Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris movies. Okay. Which was the first thing that I ever saw when I was four and a half. I started kicking all over the house, broke a few vases. A few vases and then a few records. At seven years old, Joshua was the youngest second degree black belt in the world. And now? This was in May 7th. This year? This year, yes. Okay. I got my third degree black bow. Did right you start there. with wood before? Yes, wood. Pine wood. Oh my goodness. That's, demo, that's not a demo board. That's like three demo boards connected. <laughs> Joshua has big plans of the 2028 Olympic Games and even opening his own martial arts school. I really want to help lots of kids. That's my dream. And he's not wasting any time getting started. I created a foundation called the Joshua Gore Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization that helps kids and low income families be able to continue or start a sport that they want to do. It could be any sport. Any sport. Yeah, even martial arts too. Oh, oh my god, right here. Hey guys, come on in. Hey, how you been? Good. Oh, hi. Joshua's nonprofit sent 10-year-old Jose Veras and his little sister Alondra to swimming lessons. Why do you like it so much? Well, I'm like different from a kid. I actually like the deep end. After hanging out with Joshua for the afternoon, I had one last question. Do you know what it means to be an old soul? Mm, what do you mean? Um, an old soul. So it means you're a you're kind of beyond your years. <laughs> have you ever heard that? Yeah, I think I have. What do you think about that? Do you feel 10? <laughs> yes, I do feel 10. <laughs> I mean, I, it's just a different way that I talk because of my sport. It teaches you to have manners, respect for all, friends, families, even people that you don't even know. Yeah. You have to respect them a lot. Is it weird if a 10 year old's my hero? <laughs> is, is, that, is that strange? He's awesome. He's crazy good. Oh, he's doing so many good things for himself and for others. All right, what's he up to next? Well, he's heading to Columbia okay. next. So just like his foundation, Josh depends on contributions. So please check out his website at joshuaaguire.com. He's an incredible young man. All right, thanks for sharing.